right in front of the pipe. <gasps> right there. Oh my God. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. We did it. Zip that baby up. He's not getting out. This might be my favorite fish I've ever caught. What is up VFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video guys. Today we got a special video. We're going to the Walmart ditches and we're going to attempt to catch some cool cichlids for my new backyard pond. I've been waiting to go out and catch me some cichlids to put in here. The only fish we have in here is the fish we bought. We bought like $600 worth of African cichlids. Now we're going to go out. We're going to test our luck and see if we can catch ourselves some cool cichlids in the wild. Oh yeah, look at them dude. They're already trained. They're following me around everywhere. Come here. Come on, come say hello. <laughs> Dude, some of them are getting so big, it's so cool. Look at this. I got the whole squad coming up to me now. Look at those colors popping, dude. So yeah, as you can tell, everyone's doing great here in the cichlid pond. These are like all the ones that we bought. Um, a few we've caught, actually. That convict cichlid right there, I moved him from my tank into here. Uh, this guy right there with the orange fins, he is from my fish tank as well, which we also caught. Oh my gosh, look right there, look at the rainbow. Look at the Victorian, dude. He's rainbow already. Look at the rainbow. Oh my gosh, the Victorians is looking so sick right now. <laughs> so yeah guys, little tiny update on African cichlids. There's, you know, that's just like a little fraction. A lot of them, uh, you know, follow my hand around and then some are still hanging around there. You know, the big ones. But yeah, the pond's doing really good. The fish are doing really good. I just love this pond so much. But yeah, I just, I come out here and I look at the fish and I just love it so much. It is the coolest thing. My favorite pond by far. And it's just gonna keep getting better and better with all the new cichlids we're gonna be catching in the wild. So yeah, we're gonna head to the Walmart spot now and we're gonna place a fish trap and uh, hope for the best guys. I'll see you there. All right guys, we are here at the spot. Now you might recognize it. This is indeed the Walmart ditch spot. You guys have literally been begging me to come back here recently. And my other two spots, I already checked them today. Completely flooded and completely drained, just like last time. There's no fish there. And it really, really upset me. I, I just want to go out, catch some cichlids from my pond. And I can't, there's absolutely no fish there. So I was like, you know what? I have one last spot. We got to try the Walmart ditches. I've caught Texas cichlids here. I've caught African cichlids here. I've caught green severum, red devils, all these kinds of cichlids and it's a really cool spot and we haven't been here in a while so we're here today we're trying to catch fish for the new pond walking up now this is one of the ditches there's two over there and one more over there and i think one more back there but this is the one we caught the green severums in the red devils at so we're gonna try this one today i'm chumming up now oh there's some cichlids right there there oh my gosh look at them going ham oh my god there's so many fish dude this is insane i freaking love these spots dude there's just so many fish oh it's crazy look look at them going ham See, a lot of those are the common ones you'll see here in Florida, you know, your Midas cichlids, tilapia, stuff like that. But in the mix of it is the shinies. That's what we're calling them. They're shinies. They're the colorful, the rare ones. Those are the ones we're after. So yeah, I think this is a good sign. This spot looks pretty much untouched from the flood. It looks completely the same. So I'm guessing the fish are in there. I'm guessing this is our best shot at catching fish today. This has been rough guys. I know I haven't posted a video um, you know, with a fish trap catching exotics recently. And that is because of the flood. I'm not even kidding. Every single one of my spots is completely trashed right now. No fish. And it's just really, it really sucks. So I know you guys have been asking for more and I'm like, I'm trying guys. Literally every day I'm trying. Now for bait today, we're using fish food. We've never done this before. This is the fish food that I dropped in my pond and it got ruined. So I was like, you know what? I can use this as fish trap food. According to the packaging, it looks like we're gonna catch some pretty sick peacock cichlids today. Yo, if we caught those, I would be so happy. So, hey, it's it's possible in these Walmart ditches. You never know where you're gonna get. That's what I love about them. So let's bait up the trap. We got fish food. I might throw some fries in there too. And uh, yeah, guys, go down there, hit the like button. I need some good luck today. All I want is some pretty cichlids. This is what I've been waiting for. I finally have a pond to throw the cool cichlids I've been catching in, and I can't catch any fish because there is no fish. Okay, oh my God, the fish trap is baited up. It doesn't look like much, but let me tell you guys, that is ripe. That is nasty, dude. It smells so bad. All right, so we're gonna toss her in uh, right here, right in front of the, right in front of the pipe. That's where all the fish swam in when they when I showed up. Oh my God. Did you guys see that? No clue if you guys can see that. I just saw, it, it was probably one of those red devils or something. Something orange. See, that's that's the thing. 
you sit here and you look, you see all the commons, you know, the tilapia, the Mayan cichlids, and then you'll see a little flash of color. And that's, that's the, that's the mystics, bro. That's the shinies. But there's some hidden gems here and there. I'm just praying this works. I want to get a video out for you guys catching more exotics for the pond. And it's just literally, like I said, been impossible recently since that flood. So yeah, guys, we're going to cut right to the action. I'm going to wait about three to four hours. We're going to be back here later to check our trap. Cross your fingers. We get something good for the pond, guys. I need to put something in there from the wild. I'm just, I need to. All right, you guys, the time has come. We're about three and a half hours later. Now I parked over here by the original ditches because I want to like scope it out. And I rolled up and yo, there's fish literally everywhere. I'm kind of wishing I placed a trap over here. But hey, you guys, I have high hopes we got something. All these fish I'm seeing in the ditches. I mean, we got, we got something for sure. So let's head over to our fish trap now and see what we got, guys. Come on. Who's ready to catch some aquarium fish? I know I am. Got water in the bucket. I'll tell you guys, one thing that never gets old is pulling up these traps. Here we go. Come on, I'm dude. I'm nervous. It's been a while. <laughs> oh my god, we got a little. Oh, hold. Oh, hold up. I think we got a red devil, boys. Hold on, where is he? Oh no, it was a cat food. Oh my god, dude. We caught so many mosquito fish, and they're all dead. Hold up, where's that one fish I just saw? There's something colorful. <gasps> right there, oh my God. Oh my God, we did it, we did it, we did it. Zip that baby up, he's not getting out. Oh my gosh, we did it, we caught the mystique. Oh my God, we just caught a freaking, what's it called? We just caught a shiny, boys. Hold on, where's the bucket? This guy needs to go straight in the bucket. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, dude. Hold on, where is he? <gasps> Look at that thing, dude, that's an OB. I'm shaking right now, that's an OB. We just caught a freaking Obi in the wild. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't even want to touch it. I don't even want to touch it. Oh my God, get the hair in run. No freaking way, dude. No way, that is my favorite fish. That's literally my favorite fish. I'm not even kidding. Oh my God, look at this. What is that? Dude, what is that? Ah! That's like an African cichlid. That's definitely some sort of African cichlid. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, I thought that was a jaguar. I was about to lose it. Look at that. We caught a tilapia with red fins. Okay, we need to we need to sort through these fish and then get to those shinies. Okay, tilapia we can throw back. Oh my gosh. Mayan. I can't dude, there's so many mosquito fish. They're all dead. They're all freaking dead or something. Look at that. All these mosquito fish are dead. I've never seen that before. Maybe there's just so many in there. They they ran out of space. Look at that. Wow, another tilapia with red fins. They're actually really pretty. Wow, that's actually a really pretty tilapia. Dude, what is with these freaking mosquito fish? Another tilapia, okay. Come on, if there's not another OB peacock, I don't want it. Mayan, I, I, I can't believe it. I don't know if you guys know this, but the OB, OB cichlids are literally my favorite fish in the whole world. I love them so much. I have one in my tank. I never thought I'd catch one in the wild. I. I I'm losing it right now, dude. All right, I think that's it. The rest are mosquito fish. Oh my God. Look at all those mosquito fish. Hey, yo, what is this? Dude, what is that? Hold up, we got, a, we got something else too. Look at this. Look at that. What is that? That thing is sick looking. That looks like a, uh, looks like a baby Jack Dempsey or something. All right, now I think the rest are mosquito fish. We can dump them back. Here we go. Time to show you what we just got. I'm literally about to cry, dude. Like, I love these fish so much. They're actually my favorite fish in the whole world. Look at this. I've never seen someone catch one before. I've literally, oh my God. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? That thing is so cool. Also, this guy right here, the striped one, I've never seen this guy before. Never caught him. Oh my gosh, he's really cool though. Oh my gosh, we did it. We got fish for the pond. Look at that, what is that? That thing is so cool. And then this guy, he looks kind of funky, dude. He looks a little, he looks a little dopey. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. This guy looks, oh, this guy needs to chill out. This guy looks a little dopey, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he looks a little dopey, he's real, wow. Look at that, look at that green on his face, that blue. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a uh, Jack Dempsey, maybe a, a Jewel set. I don't know, honestly. I got, I got to hold them one more time, baby. You are literally the coolest. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever caught. 
I'm not gonna lie, dude. This is this is probably my favorite catch ever. Literally ever. This is up there, guys. This this might be my favorite fish I've ever caught. <laughs> I can't believe it. We did it. Yo, for the pond too. For the pond. That makes it even cooler. The fact that we're gonna throw this guy in the pond that we just built, he's gonna look so sick in there. We did it, dude. This has been a long time coming. I'm telling you guys, I've been going out every single day trying to film a fish trap video for the past like two weeks. Haven't caught a single fish. Dude, know what it was? It was the freaking cichlid food as bait. We've caught some crazy stuff here on this channel. This is maybe not the rarest, you know, maybe not the uh, most expensive or, or unique or whatever, but it's definitely my favorite. I mean, these OB peacocks are so sick. This guy's going up front with me. I'm gonna buckle him in. Ugh. There you go. Also, these two guys. I'm like really freaking out over the OB, but these, these guys are really pretty too, and they're also going in the pond. And I also have no idea what either of them are. So if you guys are fish experts or know what they are, uh, please be kind enough to go down there and comment so I uh, so I know what I caught. This is the cool thing, guys. I don't know too much about aquarium fish unless I catch them. So when I caught my first Jack Dempsey, I was like, dude, look at the size of this jewel cichlid. And then you guys are like, no, that's a Jack Dempsey. And now I'm getting the, I'm getting deja vu. This kind of looks like a like a jewel cichlid. So you guys gotta let me know what it is. All right, you guys, we're gonna head home right now. I have my babies in the bucket. I don't know how long it's gonna take for the other spots to you know be good again, but for now, I guess we're gonna have to rely on these Walmart ditches to stock our pond and catch some cool fish. I'll see you back in my pond. We're gonna get some sick underwater footage. And uh, yeah, I'd say that was a pretty successful fish trap. Okay guys, we're back at my pond. Now before we put the new fish in, we're gonna acclimate them. We got them right here. I'm slowly adding this water into that water. Now while that's happening, we're gonna give you a little update on all the other cichlids in the pond already. Now everyone in here is doing insanely good. Now it's really shaded right now. It's not the time of day where the, where the sun like hits the pond. So you can't really see them all too good. We got some food here. We're gonna feed them. There you go guys, over there. Let's see. There they go. See, they're following me around. I already got them trained. Look at them. There you go, guys. There you go. There we go. Look at them, dude. Oh my gosh. Everyone is doing so good. They are so cool. Look at that. Dude, it's like a freaking pond of Skittles. I love it. Wow. There's everyone. You can see also uh, some of the Victorian cichlids the ones that get really rainbow colored, they're already getting their colors. So I'm gonna pop up a video I got yesterday. Um, they're they're looking really good. Some of them are really coloring up already. Oh, there's our big yellow guy. He likes swimming against the current right there from the from the power head. There's another big one. I think that's the big green one. Um, as you can tell there, you might be able to tell we added about four big rocks. We're slowly making our way over. I'll tell you what guys, once the sun hits the pond, it looks so sick. Just like I said, all the fish are doing really good. The Oscar's doing really good. And yeah, I'm just super freaking pumped to add an OB peacock from the wild into here. I really wish it was sunny so you guys can see his colors, but don't worry, we're gonna be getting lots of underwater footage of this guy in the future. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my God. Dude, that is literally the coolest fish I've ever caught. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, dude. He really is just the most beautiful fish ever. All right, the sun's, the sun's peeking through a little bit. Uh, where's our OB guy? Yo, I don't care if there's only one in there. I mean, I don't know for sure, but that might be the case. Um, even if I can't catch another one in the wild, I'm definitely gonna buy a lot more uh, in the future because like I said, they're my favorite African cichlid and I would love to have these guys breed in here. When I released him, he went straight in the rocks and he was just chilling. See, the sun's peeking through the trees just a little bit and you can really see into the pond really well. We got this guy right here who will not stay still. There you go. Come on, buddy. I just want to show you off. I want to show you off. Chill out. Chill. Chill out. Oh my gosh, he won't stop moving. This guy won't stop moving. I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> All right, there you go. That is really, wow. Look at the stripes on. The stripes are way more defined earlier when I caught him. He might be a little stressed out. There he goes. Here's the other one going in. Let's see if we can get a good look at him. Oh, wow. You can really see him in the sun now. Look at that. Dude, it's weird. I think in that drain, there's like not a lot of food because all those Mayans, the tilapia, this guy, and that striped one, they're all super skinny and like malnourished or something like that. Like he doesn't look, he looks, he looks a little weird. 
hopefully we can uh, fix him in here and he can have a better life. He can get fat and happy. So hey guys, those are our new cichlids in the new pond. I'm just super happy right now. I'm, I really do believe that's like the coolest thing I've ever caught. Let me know in the comments what you think the coolest thing I've caught so far is. And if you think it was that OB peacock, I think, I seriously think it was the peacock, dude. While we're out here, we're gonna give a little updates on the ponds. What's up, there's Bane. Uh, he he really did eat that Placo, by the way. He he fully digested it. I saw it on the side. You can still kind of see it. His, his side is just fat. Look right there, you can kind of see where the lump was, uh, but he fully digested it and he's fine. Here's Wayne, Wayne's doing great. There's Brandy, there's Andy. By the way, Andy's getting massive. Also, look who it is, there's Bruiser. You guys thought Bruiser would be free food for Bane. Uh-uh, he is not a cannibal. There's the other little Plico. Everyone else is doing great in here. Move on over to the Paku and Cichlid Pond. Um, the pond, you can kind of see him probably. I need to scare him out, hold on. I need to show your size. Come on, look at that thing. Look at them. Dude, they're huge. You guys seeing that? Oh, there's the shovel nose. There's Tigris, I think I think we decide on Tigris, right? Oh yeah, there's one of the Paku. One of them's really big though. There's Pac-Man. There's the, dude, look at them. They won't come out of their freaking cave. Well, you guys can kind of see. I mean, they're giant. And also, the shovel nose is getting huge, too. But, uh, yeah, everyone in here is doing good. The cichlids, you can kind of see them down there. There you go. You can see the school of cichlids. I might have to catch some of them out to put in the new pond because apparently I can't catch those in the wild anymore. They're completely gone. Ah, oh, st stupid flood, dude. Ruined everything. Yeah, you can see the Paku poking out there. You can really see their true size. They're monsters, dude. All right. Where, where is he? There he is. Oh my gosh, this one actually might be prettier. Maybe it's just because she's in the light. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's insane. But yeah, I guess a little update here. Texas Cichlid, we caught from that same Walmart ditch. Doing great. Everyone's doing great. I need to clean the glass a little bit. Got the algae growing. You can see the big Jack Dempsey's head poking out right there. He likes sitting in that little cave. That's his spot. But yeah, everyone is doing really good here in the 125 gallon. Well, 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 look who it is. What's up, Bruce? We got the fan favor here, Bruce. Oh my gosh, everyone's attacking me. Oh my gosh, look at them. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, what's up, baby? Dude, he loves being pet. It's the coolest thing ever. Oh, what, you want to be pet too? Everyone loves being pet in here, don't they? This is just a friendly little pond. Oh. <laughs> Dude, look how big Banner is. Banner's, oh my gosh, he's getting so pretty too. There's the albino Placo too. Wow. He's definitely put on some size since since we caught him. What's up, buddy? What, you hungry? All right, I'll feed you. There you go, guys. Eat up. <laughs> Dude, these koi, some of these koi are getting big, too. Like, look at the size of that one. Wow. That white one's big, too. Oh, what's going on? Look at this. <laughs> look at this funny little lip, dude. He's so funny. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a Garami. That's the one we caught in the, uh, the little hidden tunnel spot. I think it's called a Pearl Garami or something. I don't know. There's a gold one. Gold Garami right there. My gosh, listen to them. They're going crazy. Dude, it's so cool having like predatory fish like Oscars in here with, with the koi and everyone gets along. It's, it's so cool. I don't know why, but I always get super lucky with that stuff. Like, Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you have an Oscar in your koi pond. He's going to eat all your fish. But no one no one attacks each other. I just get super lucky. I got super friendly fish. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, please go down there, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.